Hey guys, it's Elisa, and today I'm going to be going over my February wrap-up. I will be doing my March to be read in a separate video just so that it's not really long because there's some things that I want your help with in my TBR, so yeah. So let's get on to it. <laughs> First off, I want to go ahead and say my February to be read pile was a big failure. I did not expect all the work that came up to come up of like taxes and whatnot and then I am going to be 100% honest that as soon as I finished Beautiful Darkness I did go ahead and see Beautiful Chaos and then after I saw the movie I was just <laughs> still processing like because it wasn't what I expected it was so good I did see it a second time without any expectations and I did enjoy it but I was still hoping the ending would be different. <laughs> Just kidding. Maybe a little. But yeah. So so for the month of February, I did go ahead and say that I wanted to read the Caster Chronicles, which is Beautiful Creatures, Beautiful Darkness, Dream Dark, Beautiful Chaos, and Beautiful Redemption. Out of those, I only read three of them, which is Beautiful Creatures, Beautiful Darkness, and Dark Dream. I did, or Dream Dark. Dream Dark. I did go ahead and read those, and then I did go ahead and read another book that was not on my to-be-read list, which also means that I did not read Save Haven by Nicholas Sparks, and that I just realized that right now. I did not read that. I did not read the novella Wolf Pack by Melissa De La Cruz, or... Sorry, I thought I had the book somewhere here. Or Gates of Paradise on there. So let me just kind of give you a quick wrap up. I, of course, read Beautiful Creatures. Beautiful Creatures, I did go ahead and give it a four. It was a great start to the series. I, I forgot why I gave it a four. <laughs> this is actually the third time I read it, so I, don't, I should not be forgetting why I did. I just didn't like some parts of it. There was a little too much, like, whininess. Oh, well. I still liked it. I, I, I really did enjoy it, but I did give it a four. The next book, of course, that I read was Beautiful Darkness. This one I gave a five out of five stars. This is, I mean, because obviously I haven't, I haven't finished at this moment. I still have not finished Beautiful Chaos um, and have not read Beautiful Redemption. This is my favorite book in the series as so far. So far, this is my favorite book in the series. I love the action. I, even though I hated the separation between Ethan and Lena, I did enjoy the relationship that Ethan was starting to make with Liv and I liked as I mean people might disagree I mean I did like how Lena no it's not that I liked it I just enjoyed reading what she was going through when she was a John I should say that's what I mean but yes this is my favorite so far of the series once I finish which I'm almost done with Beautiful Chaos and I will be reading Beautiful Redemption this weekend. I'm going to do it. Like, I'm not going to put it down until I do. But yeah. So the next book that I did go ahead and read was Dream Dark by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. This one was just a little short novella. It was like... Oh my god, sorry. <laughs> that was so scary that I broke my new nook. Anyways, sorry, my heart's just trying to catch up with me. Uh, okay, anyways, so Dream Dark is a novella that takes place in the beautiful creatures world. Um, it is about Link, about what happens to him. I don't know if a lot of people have gotten into Beautiful Darkness yet or have even finished Beautiful Darkness. I don't want to totally ruin the whole surprise of what happens to Link, but there is a surprise on Link. So it, I gave this like a 3.5. It was okay. It was fine. 
<laughs> I mean, I do like Link as a character. This is just a little slow, but I get it. It was just kind of like a little bit more background information about Link's situation since he's not like the main character on there. But I did like the information that was given to me. It helped when I started reading Beautiful Chaos. So, yes. As of right now, I am about three-fourths of the way with Beautiful Chaos on here, so I will be finishing this one soon. But after I read Dream Dark, well, I watched Beautiful Creatures at the movies, and then I went through, like, a period of, like, a week, or, no, oh, yeah, it was, like, a week, that I was still trying to process the whole movie that I would, I, I, I couldn't, not that I couldn't, I wouldn't. Yes, I wouldn't get into Beautiful Chaos. Like, I, I don't know. I just couldn't. I didn't read for, like, a week on there. So I think that's what kind of messed me up. And then, like, I should have read. And then after that, like, I get really busy with, like, all that extra work. But anyways, the what ended up happening after that is that I, I just needed to get out of the caster world for just a little bit. I needed to forget the movie like I shouldn't have I should have just read all of them and then go see the movie but I really 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 wanted to go when it came out so sorry anyway so I did go ahead uh, and read A Seal Secret Baby by Laura Laura Marie Altum it is a Harlequin American romance I know everybody's hearing Harlequin and Har that's all they're hearing is Harlequin Harlequin <laughs> it wasn't it was very modest. It was a very modest story. It was more about the the relationship between Deacon and Ellie. Yes, Deacon and Ellie are the main characters. Deacon is a Navy SEAL and Ellie is the wife of Deacon's best friend who, when the story takes off, has been dead for a year. On something happened in a mission and before he died um, he asked Deacon to take care of his wife and his baby so as where the story starts off with they are celebrating so what I mean by celebrating is that the Ellie's husband ex well deceased husband I should say Tom has been dead for a year so his parents decided that they wanted to have a celebration to kind of remember him not so much celebrate his death but remember his life celebrate his life and, of course, it was, like, a way to see their grandchild as well. So, at this point, Ellie has already made up her mind that she is going to tell Deacon the truth that Deacon is the baby's dad. The baby's name is Pia. Yes, Pia. Her name is Pia. What basically happened is, like, Deacon and Ellie met one night and they slept together. And it was like this fun, wild ride, whatever, the way she describes it. But she always knew that Deacon was the, the type to run. So a couple of weeks later, she introduced, Deacon introduces Ellie to Tom, and then they get together, and they it's like really whirlwind. Get together, get married, everything. And in the back of her mind, she always was like, well, maybe Tom knows. Because they he knew that they had slept together, that they had once or whatever so anyways the story is just a journey of how Deacon deals with finding out that he is Pia's dad and how they're going to tell everybody else because Ellie is super afraid how everybody's going to go in and react about it it was a really good read I really enjoyed it I literally devoured this book in a day like I would not put it down like even at work like every time I had a chance to I was reading the book it's only like 170, no, yeah, it's actually 179 pages. Actually, no, it's like 165, 169 because the last 10 pages are just a synopsis for another book. But it's only 169 pages. Like, it, it gets really good. Like, you, yeah, it's like a, a good pace of a book. And then you hit like page 150, 159, 150, something like that. And it just goes super fast and it ends. Like, that's it. I was upset. I was super upset. I was like, oh my god, I spent all day reading this and this is what you do to me. Like, there could have been more. Like, there could have been an extra, like, 100 pages and it would have been an amazing book. I really did enjoy it. So, yeah, that is my review of this book. 
So that was my February wrap up. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You guys have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. <laughs>